and a massive warm welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hi hello my name is Kira so for today's video I have my 2021 favorites now I tend to film this video around this time every year and I want to show you guys a lot of skincare products I've been loving some hair care a bit of makeup books workouts podcasts all that kind of thing. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Um, I mean, I hope. <laughs> if you do enjoy this video, please give it a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more weekly videos. I'm uploading every Monday at 5 p.m. So join the family, comment down below. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this favorites video. Okay, so first things first, I wanna start with skincare. Now, this is kind of interesting because last year, some of these products are definitely featured. There's gonna be a bit of repetition, so if you're around a year ago, holler at me, I'm gonna show the same products. I'm a creature of habit, so once I find like a skincare routine I like or like a concealer I love, I will just buy it and buy it and buy it and basically till it's discontinued. So this is like my current kind of skincare regime. These are the products, so first of all, CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. Now this is such an amazing face wash. I use this every morning without fail. I'd go as far as saying for 365 days this has been on my face. Every single day without fail. Um, it's the first thing to touch my skin in the mornings. I'll use it some evenings as well. But it's just a really lovely cleanser. I'm a massive fan of CeraVe. I actually really take pride now in skincare which is really awesome. Like it took me until like the age of 22, 23 to really get into it but you can bet that even after a long day or like a night out I'm doing my skincare routine. So next product it is a game changer and that is the La Roche-Posay um, SPF 50. Now, this product, I cannot believe, to be honest, that I never used to wear SPF on my face. It took me to the age of 22, I think, 23, to realize that is what we should be doing. Kira was like thinking, well, it's not sunny today. It's like January, who needs SPF? Believe me, you need your SPF, everyone. So get into it while you're young. Um, but yeah, this one's just an old one. I've got a brand new one here ready to go. Always have this at hand. Love my SPF. Up next, I've actually got my nighttime moisturizer. This product is absolutely banging. It's a game changer. I love it so much. It's the Walida Skin Food. Could be pronouncing that wrong. But yeah, it's the Rich Intensive skincare moisturizer now this is literally like spa spa on your face it feels like you've had a facial every night when i put this on i feel like i've been to the spa it's it's amazing now it is quite thick so definitely my nighttime one when i wake up in the morning my, my skin's glowing it's great it does say this one is for very dry and rough skin i'd say i'm more combined like a bit more combo around here as you might be able to see but my skin can be dry it's not really too oily um but obviously they do different types of this to cater for different skin types so um i definitely recommend this um love it so much again wear it every day now this was definitely a 2021 discovery and that is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Now I saw this on one of my favourite influencers slash YouTubers story. It was Sophia Tuxford if anyone's interested. She put this on Insta probably nearly a year ago now and she said it is the best makeup remover now i was always a massive wipe girl not that i wear makeup every day um but i'd always use makeup wipes and i just think i'm gonna put it out there makeup wipes they're good to have just at hand you never know when you might need a little wipe but just to be a bit more eco-friendly and a bit more aware i was like i'd rather use something else you know not none of that micellar water i wanted to kind of you know try something a bit different um something that would make me want to use it all the time and that is this product here um i don't really want to open it because oh, i'll open it i want i'll show you guys i mean actually it just looks interesting it looks hard but um 
Oh, it smells so good. It is so good at removing makeup. I'll be using this tonight. Again, I use this most nights. It comes with a little muslin cloth as well. Um, a bit more pricey, not gonna lie. This is one of the products I will splash out on and they do last a long time. I might go for two a year maybe, three tops, but it's a fabulous product. And again, it's the kind of products you get at a spa you have at home like it's definitely worth it I love this one okay so next I have a hair care product I <laughs> definitely could do with washing my hair as I am filming this but never mind not to worry um look a bit windswept actually what is going on but yeah um Kerastase hair oil I have raved about this before in vlogs and probably routine videos this stuff is banging like the LMS um, cleansing balm it's a little more pricey but I do think it's worth it I can go through this one a lot quicker because I use it every day like every morning I like to put quite a nice amount in my hair like a few pumps a fair few pumps but this is a game changer first of all the packaging is just divine like look at that it is shining away there but it's a really nice hair oil like it smells great I definitely think it did wonders for my hair last year I haven't actually used it probably properly in about three four months because I ran out of it and didn't replenish it and um, this was a Christmas present check out my what I got for Christmas everyone um but I want to get back onto the bandwagon I'm using it every morning and it's fabulous stuff. Okay, so we're gonna do a bit of makeup now. I have been loving this concealer this year. First of all, can we appreciate how big it is? Like, it's a nice, a big concealer. This has lasted me all year. I got this in the Christmas sales 2020 and it took me through all of 21. It's now basically empty. Believe it or not, I'm still getting the last dregs out. Um, but I wear this every day and I have used it all year all year no had to buy another one that is fabulous i ought to tell you what it is so it's the Too faced born this way multi-use sculpting concealer i got mine in the shade swan now i think swan uh, it's kind of rubbed off but i'm pretty certain that's me quite pale um it's such a banging concealer like very very good at coverage very high on coverage doesn't feel that kk really nice highlighter as well if you want to use it for that like strong strong concealer this was recommended to me and i am obsessed and um, i just don't see myself wanting to try another concealer anytime soon lipstick so weirdly i've got vaseline on my lips right now and it's really weird because it looks like i've got a lip gloss on and i never wear gloss i always go matte um, and that brings me on to this huda beauty liquid matte lipstick and um, this one is in the shade wifey um i got this probably in i think it might have been like july time um i used to use a mac matte liquid lipstick for years um the shade was burnt spice i used it for years i loved it it was my perfect shade but i really strongly felt that i only wanted makeup in my collection that was cruelty free and mac are not cruelty free or they weren't last summer anyway when I checked don't know if that's gone anywhere um, but I didn't want to buy Mac anymore because they're not cruelty free um, so I did some research found out Huda Beauty is cruelty free I was like okay let's try out a Huda Beauty lipstick and I picked up this one and I literally wear this all the time this is my go-to it is basically the only lipstick I wear to be honest other, other than this I'd wear like red but this is like the only lipstick I wear um all my Instagram pics any pictures you see or if you ever see me wearing lipstick it is this oh, smells so good I love that right I've got two palettes one is a cheek one one is eyeshadow I'll start with the eyeshadow because that is what I have on right now. It's the Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. Pretty certain this could have been a 2020 favourite as well, but this has just really stood out to me in 2021. I use it a lot. Now, I'm a massive, massive fan of Urban Decay eyeshadows. I think they blend lovely. I really like the um, formula. Although, last year I did buy their new vegan palette what was it called 
uh, West something oh, I can't remember now that's really bad but I got their recent palette which was vegan and I didn't like the formula so I was like props to them for getting a vegan eyeshadow palette but the formula did not work on me whatsoever really kind of hope they don't carry that on but yeah always do rate Urban Decay uh, and this is just such a gorgeous palette anyone with blue eyes or like maybe green I recommend this because it really does wonders like orange tones for blue eyes. It makes them pop. That's probably one of my biggest compliments is eyes. Your eyeshadow, your eyes look so blue. I'm like, well, they are blue, but... And then I have a Benefit Cheek product. and um, This is Cheek Stars Mini Reunion Tour Mini Blush and Bronze Palette. Um, I got this one last Christmas, so I've used it all year and yeah i really really love it so love the hula bronzer i'm a really big fan of this blush this is my go-to blush it's called sugar bomb this one i haven't really used as much i think it's just like another another bronzer it's gonna be another bronzer oh it's a blush interesting i don't think that would look good on me but i really like the other two anyway and i'm a massive fan of benefits Right, so I've actually got two things that kind of link together. One of them is a pack of cards, and the other one, oh, I'll show you now, um, is my crystals. So I cannot recommend this enough, but as I just said that, I realised some people ain't going to be into crystals and all that kind of thing. Um, I am... All my friends are, we love this stuff. And um, I actually gave these as presents at Christmas to some of my friends. I think they're lovely. So it's Psychic Sisters, that's the brand. So yeah, this is the Love Crystal set. Um, and I would show you all of them, but most of them are in my bag. So if I just, you can see that. So in these cute little tubes, um, they do like different ones, like different affirmations. There's love, um, there's, happiness um maybe like a calming one there's different like affirmations and they have the different crystal sets and um, this is the love one and you get i think i've got two of these in my bag so i picked out the ones that stood out to me and put them in my handbag but i just think these are so lovely um i just tend to carry them around with me um the direction actually just says select three crystals in the morning focus on the affirmation and keep your crystals close to you throughout the day and um, so I tend to just carry them in my bag I really like this brand and I want to try more of their products more of their seems like the wrong word more of their crystals and their they do candles that apparently help you be calm and um, candles to help you sleep and stuff like that and I really want to I want to give it a whirl so I love these then Something I love, which I think, again, I got last Christmas, um, I did, were these uh, Spiritual Oracle cards. So they're the Emma Mumford um, Spiritual Queen Oracle cards. You get 44 cards in the deck, and basically they just offer inspiring messages and advice from the universe. So um, what I do, and I'm going to put it out there, I do not use these every day. I don't, like... I'm, I'm not like that like I don't use them every day because to be honest like I'll get up late I just rush out of the house like I'm not doing my like, card readings every morning however I've done them throughout the year and I just think it's really nice again I've I got this as a gift and I've gifted this to other people because I think they're really sweet now what I would do with these is give them a little shuffle and in the morning I would pick a card and that would be like my mantra for the day but the actual drawings on the cards are so pretty so this one's receive um i'll just go random gratitude um grounding there's all kinds of different messages in the card be authentically you and i just think like the crystals it's it's really nice like it's really nice i know for some people they wouldn't be bothered about this at all but it's kind of a nice little pick me up in the mornings and it's just a little food for thought i'm definitely into all that kind of thing so these are from etsy as well you know support your small businesses right so last year or at the beginning of the year i set like a goal that i was gonna read 21 books in 2021 that did not happen i did not read 21 books in 2021 i don't even know if i thought i would 
I think I started off pretty strong, but that was also because we were in that lockdown period at the beginning of the year and I had more time to read. And by the end of the year, I'd read like 12. So that's really not that bad. That's like one a month that kind of wasn't because I'd read like three in six weeks or something like that. But yeah, my favorite book of last year, I don't actually have to show you guys because I loved it that much. I gave it to a friend and she's not giving me it back, but uh, The Book Thief, oh my gosh. That's not the book though, the book is One Day. Um, I loved this book, it was actually the first one I read in 2021, uh, back in January last year, but it really stood out to me, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, there is a film based on that book as well, which I have watched this year, but it was amazing. Like To say I'm very much into like, your Harry Potter and also like your thrillers, like I love a good thriller. This one's kind of like a love story. Well it is and I loved it, I loved reading it so I'd recommend that one. Okay so next I have a podcast and this was in my 2020 favourites so this is the second year in a row I have listened to this podcast religiously. I know this year without fail I've probably listened to every single one. Um, it's released every Wednesday, it's called The Girls Bathroom, um, two of my favourite influencers, YouTubers, Sophia and Chinzia, such a massive fan of them, um, I was actually really sad because they did a tour with it and I just couldn't get tickets, but I really hope they do that again, but that podcast literally as I'm filming this is actually a Wednesday and I listen to it on my commute to work every Wednesday and it is my favorite morning commute because I love listening to the podcast it is so fun people send in like dilemmas and they want advice and the girls give them advice and it's a lot of fun um but that is my go-to podcast so if you guys want to recommend me co more podcasts do comment below because I love a good podcast and you know when you're trying to get into a new one but you're just like, mm, I'm just not vibing. I need to find what I vibe with because having one every Wednesday is not enough for me. So yeah. Another big favourite of mine this year, which again was a 2020 favourite as well, second year in a row, is my Pamela Rife workouts. Definitely pronouncing her name wrong. I, I just feel like we need to wrap this up now. Every time I say her name, people tell me it's pronounced differently. No one ever says the same thing. You all say different. So Pamela's workouts. Um, I love doing her workouts. I actually filmed a video on this in April of this of last year and that has over 40,000 views which is crazy. The comments that's just so lovely like thank you to everyone who's been like watching that video. I should definitely do like an update. Um, but yeah I've been doing Pamela's workouts for it'll be coming up to two years. Um, I must admit I kind of slipped off a bit towards the end of 2021 because I got a new job and I was just kind of trying to balance everything. Um, but I'm back on like my Pamela workout regime and I love her workouts. Ultimately I do them because it's the best way to wake up in the morning for me anyway because it makes me feel amazing. I think the way I feel after I've done a good workout, it's a, one of my favorite feelings. So I love doing the workouts. Um, see a lot of progression with it as well, which is nice. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to mention was actually my, oh, I missed a major thing. This is not the last thing. Wait a hot minute. Lush bath bombs, how can I forget this? How can I not give this a mention? Um, again, classic favourite for me. I love a good bath, nice hot bath, nice soak in the bath. I love a lush bath bomb. I have, I have an issue with that. What? That's not what I meant to say. I have issues because I'm obsessed. Like, I just love spending five pound on a bath bomb or six pound on a bath bomb. It is a bit of an issue, but they're really nice and I like having a soak and it is, it's just something nice, like a bit of self-care, all that kind of thing, all that jazz. The last thing I wanted to mention, this is like getting that self-promotion, getting that self-promo, is my radio show. There may be people watching this who tune in to my radio shows, but I cannot believe I started doing radio half, it was, it was literally a year ago, like 
potentially to the day. It was like the middle of January and I went on air for the first time. Um, and it's been a journey, but I am loving my radio work. So um, I currently am presenting for EXO Radio. Um, I have a mid-morning show every Thursday and Friday, 10 a.m. until 12 p.m. UK time. Um, and that is such a massive part of my life now. Like I love music, I love radio presenting um, and throughout 2021 I was presenting for like various online radio stations but I feel like I've learned so much and I can't believe it's only been a year of doing that so that's more like a personal favourite in a sense I mean guys do tune in and also dare I say it I'm gonna manifest something very very exciting is happening next week oh yeah next week in terms of radio and in terms of london being i mean i'm in london right now i'm not going to say anything yet other than that but things really could be advancing things could be leveling up and i'm very excited but i don't want to speak too soon either so if you don't hear anything of this yeah um but yeah my radio has been a big part of my year so yeah they are my 2021 favorites we had a lot of skincare bit of makeup lush a book but those are the things that really stood out for me and i use throughout the year that kind of thing i'm sure there could be more and i'm gonna edit this and be really annoyed i didn't mention something obviously i love my cheddar i love my cheese and stuff like that but I'm not just going to sit here and rave about a block of cheese, although that's right up my street. Um, oh, that was something I want to mention. I knew I would have forgot something. Silk scrunchies. Silk scrunchies my life. Um, I'll just throw this one in, literally. Um, I got some silk scrunchies for Christmas last year, and these are the only thing I will put in my hair. The only thing I tie my hair up with. It's better for your hair, everyone. So I would say invest in your silk scrunchie anyway um at this point i feel like it's time to end the video but i do want to know what your guys favorites were did you have any standout skincare products what books did you read if you read any one thing i haven't mentioned really is any films or tv shows any netflix series or anything so yeah if you did enjoy this video please give it a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more weekly videos i'm uploading every monday at 5 p.m. So join the family, comment down below, turn your post notifications on because you don't want to miss a thing. I hope you all have a super amazing day and you're keeping amused and staying safe and I'll catch you guys soon with a brand new video. Bye everyone!